Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to make a quick video to uh, go over the announcement that we put out about how we are going to resume our assembly here at Bridge Avenue. Uh, we've put it out in Spanish and in English. We've texted it out and we hope that it's, it's getting out to everyone. But I just wanted to go over it and uh, sort of explain a little bit very, very briefly. And if you have any questions, about any of it, then message me or comment on the video or text one of us or call us and we'll be happy to help you in any way. We're going to start back this Sunday on the 24th. Now, we have a, a special problem, you might say, because our congregation is bilingual. Usually we split up and we have one service in uh, the fellowship hall in Spanish and one service in the auditorium in English. Uh, but in, in order to ensure that everybody is social distance enough, that we have enough room, we're going to have the English and the Spanish both in the auditorium but at different times. And so our English service is going to be at 9 o'clock from 9 to 10. And our Spanish service is going to be from 11 to 12. Again, English is going to be both of them in the auditorium. English is going to be from 9 to 10 and then after that 11 to 12 and there are going to be some of us including the deacons who are going to be sort of cleaning up disinfecting some things in between that hour in between uh, between uh, 10 and 11 and so again English at 9 and Spanish at 11 both in the auditorium and in order for us to social distance you as uh, you come in uh, the deacons will be meeting you outside the door in the parking lot and each family is going to be asked to sit together. The deacons will escort one family in at a time and seat you in a pew. And what we're going to do is we're going to stagger seating so that we're going to start at the front and we'll have one family on the left and then the next pew that you'll be to the right and so on and so forth. Instead of skipping a pew, we're just going to stagger back and forth to make sure that there's an appropriate distance between everybody and uh, we are recommending we're asking that you wear a mask when you come uh, you may not think that you need one or something like that but it has a lot to do with people that may be susceptible uh, or just giving people a peace of mind um, when we come together you know for the first time but it's asked that uh, you not touch anyone no interpersonal touching and actually don't touch a lot of things when you come in. There are not going to be any songbooks. We're going to have all the songs up on the screen. And uh, so no handshaking, no, uh, no hugs, and I know some of the guys wanted to do the holy kiss, but no, no holy kiss either. Uh, when you come in, we're going to ask that you sanitize your hands. Uh, someone who has, uh, who has taken precautions wearing a mask and wearing clean gloves is going to be handing everyone in, the, in each family individually packaged Lord Supper units for everyone to, to get. As many as you need for your household, someone will be handing that to you. Uh, that's how the deacons have decided that would be the, uh, the most sanitary way to do that. And, uh, and so let's just be careful about cross-contact and that cross-contamination, that kind of thing. If you're someone who maybe has a problem taking off the, the packaging to access the, the emblems of the Lord's Supper, then there will be uh, available in the foyer one that is unpackaged or a, a plate, uh, a trays that have each of them. And if you've never seen one before, uh, you, you, you peel off the top and there will be a wafer uh, right underneath that. When you're done with that, when, you're, when you've taken the wafer, then you peel off another layer and the juice is underneath that if you've never done that before. And so um, when we're done with the assembly, every family is going to be escorted out one at a time, so I guess sort of like you do at a wedding. And we ask that nobody congregate in the foyer, but to go on outside and you can spend as much time outside as you want to. As far as the bathrooms goes, uh, let's, let's not use the bathrooms unless we absolutely have to. It's, a, it's a, just a tight space and it's, it's virtually impossible to social distance in there. And so the bathrooms are only for emergencies. On your way out, there will be baskets available to put your offering in and there'll be waste baskets to put the, the Lord's Supper uh, little cups into. And we're gonna have a Lord's Supper towards the end of the service so you're not hanging out with the empty cup the whole time. And so we're gonna try to make that convenient for you. And so there will be a basket for your offering and a waste basket for the Lord's Supper containers. Um, we also wanna remind you that 
um, as, as something that I've done, and, um, and that is that you can start giving on our website very, very easily. I've set it up so that it automatically withdraws every week. It makes it easy. Uh, I don't have to remember it because I've already purposed it ahead of time, and it saves me from having to write a check or anything like that, and if I'm out of town, then it automatically gives, and uh, it's a wonderful thing if you haven't, if you haven't tried that. Um, if you're someone who is maybe more susceptible or you're older or you're immunodeficient, you don't feel safe coming, then we would encourage you to stay home and worship from there the way that you've been doing. Uh, we don't want you to feel any pressure to come. No, no one's going to be judgmental. We're all taking precautions. The whole world has been taking precautions. And so continue to pre take precautions if you feel like that's the safest thing for you. If you uh, feel sick in any way, if you're showing any COVID-19 symptoms like fever or shortness of breath or coughing or something like that, then we ask that you, t that you definitely stay home and uh, worship from home. We're doing something different uh, this time. We're actually going to be doing the, fa the uh, Facebook Live uh, live worship service. Uh, we have been, I've been putting out lessons ahead of time uh, that you can watch it, watch at your leisure, but we're actually going to be doing Facebook Live now. So join us on the church Facebook page. Uh, if you don't, if you don't uh, catch it live, then uh, once once it's over with, it automatically will be uploaded to Facebook, and so you can you can join that later if you need to. If uh, you're if you're going to be staying at home and you need to partake of the Lord's Supper and you don't have it, uh, there are simple recipes. But also uh, contact one of us, especially one of the deacons. We'll be happy to bring you uh, the Lord's Supper and administer it to you. Um, if you have any other questions, that's about all I have. Let us know. Please pray for the leaders here as um, all of us have been trying to uh, work our way back into our normal routine in a wise, in a prudent way. But let's just be thankful that we can start kind of getting back to normal, that we can actually have a time where we can assemble together. I know it's going to be a great time of encouragement, and I really look forward to seeing you. I hope you can be there.